Hello there, my Lenny Things family and friends. Welcome on back to the channel, guys. Your girl Lynn here with Lenny Things. And if you are new to my channel, I am Lynn and I do Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree reviews, some reviews and shopping like Ray Dunn items, um, some DIYs. I do some little quick vids. Yeah, check your girl out. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And once you watch the content, if you like it, please hit that like. I really would appreciate it. Welcome on back to all my Lynn Loyals, all my subbies, y'all. Today, I got a chance to get out. It is beautiful, beautiful out, y'all. Yes, it is. Um, so I had to run to uh, Dollar Tree because I just wanted to find some different things, guys. So I did get lucky and I finally found a couple of items I was looking for. But, um, yeah, we're going to get into that in one minute. Now we're going to do our announcements, guys. Y'all already know. It's announcement time. And so this is the part of my video where I do my I See You content, which is my shout-out comment of the day. So I have two comments, and this is going to be coming from my last video, which was, I think, aired last night where I showed you guys how I used those pegboards and so a lot of people were asking about the adhesives and things like that but i'll get that to, to you that in a minute to that in a minute y'all all the words <laughs> but yeah so i do have um some kind of like birthday love i just became a, a great aunt for the third time my niece gave birth to a beautiful little girl named nevea yesterday so welcome into the world baby nevea and then um also i do believe my niece's birthday is today too um a, it's a sister of the same niece i think it's kimura's birthday today as well so happy birthday niece and then i have two uh comments of the day so i have one from uh sassy and one from daviv which sassy i just shortened your name that's not her name but i will highlight both of their channels in the description of this video so let's check out what they said first guys we have um sassy southern uh north carolina girl so that is her she says that is a great idea i would not have thought to use those in the bathroom thanks so much for sharing i wouldn't have thought of that either guys like i was watching i told you bargain bethany and she did so many different um things with it go over and check out her video guys go check out bargain bethany and what she did with those pegboards what i did in the bathroom was barely nothing um, she did a whole wall like full of like in the arts and crafts kind of spot. It's great. It's awesome. And then we also have the Viv. So Viv's comment says, Hi Lynn, you always have good ideas for the things that you find at Dollar Tree. Very creative. Thank you for sharing. Smiley face. You are so welcome, Viv. So thank you both ladies for your comment and thank you all for the comments on that. So the concerns with the adhesive, what everyone has, um, I personally have not found anything wrong with it. I got up this morning and checked it. I, you know, tugged on it. It's a really nice adhesive. But um, since there are like those holes in it, I do believe you could probably try to drill in like in the four corners. Maybe you could try to find a long enough screw to put into those holes. And like if you're going to put it in a drywall type of wall or something like that, that you will feel probably more confident using the pegboards. Um, without or not only using adhesive but probably using um, some type of screws or something like that and then you'll feel extra secure that it's not going to come down but it works amazing i do want more sadly the dollar tree that i went to today they did not have the pegboards i was trying to go to a different dollar tree um that's what i'm on the quest for now i want to try different dollar trees but um some of you may know and some of you may not i do not drive so it's like i have to catch like public transportation to get to all the different stores i go to now i am blessed to be like kind of in a close vicinity to about six different stores but it was on my mind to try to just venture out and try to find a whole new dollar tree i've never been to and i'm still going to do that you know i'm still trying to figure out which store i want to try to go visit but the store i went to today i have not been to in about a month so it felt kind of new but they did not have the pegboard system which i'm really shocked because this store tends to have a lot of the updated things in their store i was really surprised by that but what i did find which is funny because on my last couple of trips to dollar tree i did not find any which if you saw in my thumbnail your girl found some of the juneteenth you know i was excited and happy to see these in that store i really was surprised um wow so these are the plates i am loving 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 this color scheme um, I just picked up a couple of items. 
um from there i did pick up the beautiful napkins look at that guys oh my goodness yes part of the juneteenth as well um and i did pick up the beautiful cups look at the cups it says celebrate juneteenth so yeah because like whatever we do that day i would like to you know kind of set my little table up and i just really really wanted something now what i'm surprised about is i did not find like the signs or the stakes they did have the little garland but i didn't pick up the garland because y'all your girl saw something that i had not seen so you guys let me know if you saw these if you have found any of the juneteenth items have you seen this item now i picked this up because i never seen this it is a little it's like a headband y'all and your girl loves some headbands i wear hairbands all the time so i was really really happy to see this now the color is throwing me off because it's like pinks and purples i love it but because it was juneteenth for some reason i was thinking this color scheme should have been the same as like the juneteenth colors the red the black the greens the golds um but hey it was juneteenth i got it and like i said i love headbands so instead of grabbing the garland i grabbed that so your girl was extra happy for that um i didn't grab too many items from the dollar tree this time because i didn't really need anything i just love to go just to look around see what they got um and then do to try to find some of my unicorns i am still looking for the laundry detergent i think is it oxy it, it's something in a blue bottle i'm looking for i've not seen that yet and actually the store i was in today had no detergent y'all what what happened to all the detergent there was none on the shelf there was plenty of softener and um, other cleaners, but they were out of detergent, all kinds. I, I don't know what was going on with that Dollar Tree today. Maybe they had a shipment to come in uh, and they hadn't put it up yet, but there was none. Um, so, you know, I am looking still for that banana milk. I have saw a couple people haul I wanted so bad because we love smoothies around here. I do make smoothies. So I'm looking for that banana milk. I hope to find it. That's another reason why I want to go to a Dollar Tree I've never been to so next um i have never seen this do y'all see this it is the helper mac and cheese this cup is tall oh my goodness so it's by the hamburger helper company um and it says it is a bowl three cheese flavor y'all we love look at that i love the hamburger hand so cute so i grabbed that so i got a couple things to kind of taste um I'm not sure if I want to taste this in this um, video, but when I make it, if I'm thinking about it, I'll try to do a taste test video for you guys to let you know how this turns out because I just had lunch. So I don't want to make this and not eat it. <laughs> so we do. Um, that's a new thing. Um, this is another new thing. And I put this picture. Maybe I might have put it on my community tab. I know I put it over on the Facebook um, page. But y'all, it is the Sweet Chaos Popcorn. Now, they have about three or four flavors right now at the Dollar Tree. Um, and this is a honey chipotle so i'm going to taste this on camera for you guys but i was like whoa honey chipotle i love honey and chipotle so it was like the last time i was in the dollar tree i didn't grab it i grabbed my regular like movie theater pop the big bag of popcorn so i had to grab this this time because i'm gonna taste that so we're gonna get into this and see if it live up to its name y'all um sweet chaos popcorn it's pretty good whoa it's strong you smell the chipotle right off the bat um and then they have, that's how it looks it looks like like cheddar and chipotle actually but let's see y'all see i'm one of them people i love sweet and hot together oh my goodness get that oh that's good y'all that is really good if you like sweet and spicy together this mix is it. Love that. Yeah, your girl will be snacking on that in a little bit. You taste the smokiness of the Chipotle. You get the spice from the Chipotle. And then you get that tang or that sweet from that honey. It is perfect. Perfect. So happy I grabbed that. Another item I'm going to be tasting. Um, Y'all, I've never seen this before. So it is by Blue Harbor. It is a wild caught albacore tuna with jalapeno what the packaging caught me because it just looked so like it just came from the sea or something and then i saw the jalapenos and i was like what so it says diced jalapeno gives our wild caught albacore tuna a fresh tasting zing um as a add a slice or two of avocado tuck it into a wrap enjoy it you know however you please y'all i was just curious about that i was just curious um 
I don't know if I, I think when I taste it, I'm gonna taste it just like it is, um, just to see what it tastes like. But I was really thinking of adding this to like if I make a bowl of tuna because sometimes I like a little spice in my tuna, and I do use like a spicy uh, pickle juice sometimes because like I love these sweet hot pickles that you can get from Famous Dave's, um, and they sell them in a, in a jar in the store. And I love using the juice from that in my tuna. One of my little secret in my little secret recipe but I was thinking this might kind of give it the little spice I don't know but that's different y'all let me know if you see this in your Dollar Trees I've never saw that before so that's another thing that I will be tasting and then I did see this but I did not purchase it so I picked it up this time guys it is pure vanilla when are you ever getting pure vanilla for a dollar twenty-five you're not you just are not um, I saw this and I saw it a couple of weeks ago and I did not grab it but this time I said you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it it is a small bottle but you don't use a lot of vanilla and I just had to get it because it says pure vanilla um 0.13 milliliters so yeah your girl got that because I just couldn't believe it um to get real vanilla um do I have anything else in here oh I got one more item and so this one I'm not tasting this is a repurchase yes y'all the Haribo pineapple bears these are so good um, I was watching my girl Pamela from Pamela's world and she had the pineapple and the watermelon I was actually on the hunt for the watermelon because I have bought these but like she said these are like a guilty pleasure for me as well I absolutely love this pineapple one and I really do want to try the watermelon one y'all I when I run across it, I'll get it. But since I like the pineapple too, I just grabbed another one of those. So that is all for my little Dollar Tree haul, y'all. And what I found this time around, I absolutely love my Dollar Trees. And whenever I got something that I have to show you guys, you know I'm going to bring it to you. Thank you for your time, guys. Like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that uh, subscribe button. And when you do, hit the little bell so that every time I upload, you'll know, girl. Be like, oh, Lynn got a new video out. And then also hit the like. That really does help the channel. And it lets YouTube know, hey, I like this content. They'll, uh, re you know, let it be shared out. And then I can get to know more and more of you guys and gain more and more subbies, which I definitely am on the hunt for. Um, it is June, though, y'all. It's June 1st. This is my birthday month. Yes. So just to reiterate, I was asking you guys, you know, uh, for my birthday, if you guys could send me a postcard. A postcard from where you are, your city, your town, your state, um, whatever is on there, like maybe what your town is known for, it doesn't matter. I just would love to see that. I would love to have that. Um, and then on your uh, postcard, please put like maybe one little unknown fact uh, about your town or your state. Um, I would love to do like a video dealing with all of that. I just think that would be amazing. So please, if you would like to um, send that postcard, I will leave my email address in the description box of this video so that you can email me if you need to know where to send that postcard. And then also, if you cannot find a postcard and you just want to send a birthday card, please do that. But also include one little unknown fact about where you live in that card. Okay, guys? Again, thanks so much. Until the next video.